Ah, the Angel Reese saga. Oh my goodness. Will she dress up and play against Texas Southern? Who knows? I sure as hell don't, but hell, I am going to take another look at this situation because it is confounding. It is unbelievable what what has happened. Oh, it, it's so predictable as well. The first thing that's going to happen is um, at some stage, if she does or doesn't come back, one way or another, or be blamed on the media and the pressure that's been put on poor Angel Reese and LSU and the microscope that they're under, which which is something they've created themselves. But I have no doubt that it'll be the media blew this story out and the players love each other if that happens. But the latest update we have is Angel posted something saying, you know, don't believe what you read. And that's basically all we know. People are speculating. Um, I've seen comments about, oh, it's an it's an academic issue. Her GPA isn't high enough, and that's why it is. Others are saying that Mulkey was pissed off for her taking the three pointer. That's why she got yanked from the game. I I don't know. I I really don't. And I'm sure I'll get comments. How dare you speculate on something you don't know about? And it'll be like, hey, you're watching this too, then just click off. I probably lost half my audience just then, but that's fine. Here is what I do think. As I said before, Angel has not crossed the line yet, and I'm curious to see what the hell will happen and if she will. She hasn't said anything publicly derogatory towards Kim or said anything bad about Kim or LSU. So this is still... Um, a savable situation. You could see her coming back and, you know, everybody was frustrated and we've learned from it and we're moving on. And that's where you'll get, you know, the media is trying to tear us apart and we're come closer together and we're all sisters and everything else, ignoring the um, the, the whole um, issue between Falage's mom and Angel Reese's mom. I mean, the media didn't do that. That was just two mothers going at it and just showing their fangs and getting after it. And how awkward is it going to be with Falage and Angel Reese playing together? I mean, I don't know if they did get along prior to this or not, but my God, that is going to be an uncomfortable... I know it's a beautiful locker room that God makes. I, well, actually, I really did not like the purple. It was just way too much purple. I know you have to do that because you're LSU, but man, I, I thought their new locker room thing was quite gaudy. I would hate to, I would hate to be in there, but I, I digress. But that will be quite an awkward locker room between her and Falage. And really... I know Kim Mulkey is trying to put her head in the sand saying, I don't know anything about social media. You know, my coaches tell me about these things. Well, you are going to need to get across this and address it because first, your lack of addressing it. And she might say, I don't need to address it. That's the media. That's their issue. And then that is where all this misinformation and speculation is coming from is there's a vacuum out there and nobody knows what's going on. So then that leads idiots like me to speculate on what the hell is going on. The best way to try to quash it is we had team issues. We've addressed them and we are moving on and it is done. Go to hell media. And I, that's probably what she'll wind up doing, but she, there's no doubt that um, I'm curious to see how she handles Falage's mom and uh, if she brings them both in or talks to them. But the tweet that she sent out to Angel Reese's mom is unacceptable because that's taking shots at Angel Reese. I mean, you cannot take shots at your teammates in public like that. I don't know if they will, and, and it doesn't appear anything will happen to Falage for this because she played in the last game. Like her minutes were, weren't restricted. And Mulkey said that, you know, she didn't start because she was just getting her minutes back up. But I think at some stage they will have to address that because that that's that's teammate on teammate crime. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think Mulkey is going to come out and ever say anything about those tweets that were sent out or saying that they addressed that issue? Or will there be any punishment? For, I know you can't punish a player for what their mom does, but my God. God, something has to be said, you know, some sort of an apology you would think or sort of, um, you know, will they put pressure on Falage's mom to come out with, you know, 
I regret if my tweet caused, sorry, my ex caused any harm to anybody or something like that. That will be interesting to see. And really, this team has two paths to go down. Can they repair the relationship with Angel Reese and get her back in? And if that happens, I think this could be just a storm and a teacup. And I think they they might wind up coming out stronger. I guess I'm an optimist on this. They could come out stronger on this because one thing that was demonstrated, Morrow can play the four quite well. And I think that can push Reese more just constantly playing the five and staying in the post and doing what she does best. And I think Angel being away has allowed Morrow to sort of set herself up in this team and show what she can do. It's given her more space to operate. And it sort of puts pressure on Angel. You want to come back and play our way? Great. You're going to be by the rules and do it the way we want it. If you don't, then they are in a good position to move in. Like I said before, they've got Samaya Smith, who's no slouch. They've got Morrow, and they've got Williams, and then they've got HVL. I still think this team is a Final Four threat and a championship threat, regardless if Angel Reese is on the team or not. And then if they get Angel Reese to show contrition, which is a big call, I don't know if that is possible. And if they're able to mid fences and I don't know, smoke a peace pipe or something like that and get everybody on the same page, this team is deadly. Um, but the, um, the risk factor with that is, is Angel Reese comes back, but she's still disgruntled and unhappy. And it's just an S show. And if that happens, then, man, this has, you know, the chance to be when the Lakers tried to create their super team with, um, my God, I think it was Nash and um, Shaq, Kobe, and Carl Malone, which just imploded. Or the one where uh, way back when the Houston Rockets, they they put together uh, Drexler with Barkley and Hakeem and Drexler and Barkley. Those two just hated each other un very unknown fact, but those two absolutely hated each other. I mean, t- <laughs> other teams would say, God, we just hear them bitching to each other on the court. They hated each other. So it'll be fun to watch. I mean, God damn, LSU. You are the most interesting team in town. Even, you know, I belittled you for your cupcake schedule, but man, you've made it up with your drama. God knows I am interested to watch LSU play Texas Southern tomorrow night just to see who the hell dresses and is at the game and you know what it looks like on the sideline are there issues or not what the press conference will be will Mulkey address this and finally say yep you know we're this is what we're doing or will she keep on going with you know I don't do social media I don't know anything and that's all I'm going to tell you and basically f off to everybody I, I think it'll be f off to everybody but it'll be fun to watch Anyway, your comments, yeah, again, like I said last time, keep the comments clean. Uh, I'll remove anything just over-the-top bad. Um, uh, Have a good night.